Yo, what is up, guys? Back once again, Aspect Gaming here, episode 42 of Divine Journey 2. All right, so in between episodes, I finished up these Entangle Porters, and I finished a few quests. We'll just recap what I did. Um, I finally finished these Capacitor quests, so I led to this, which is the Dimensional Transport, tr Dimensional Transceiver. And the Entangle Porter is kind of just an upgraded version of it. Actually, we can compare them, because I'm going to have another one. Yeah, right here. So this guy is from Mechanism. And I know you can assign frequencies to it. So we'll just set like frequency one. And then you can set it. And I think, I think it's set now. And you can send in energy, heat, gases, or fluid. So it's pretty good. So pretty much anything can go in it. And then this thing only does like items and energy. So yeah, it's not as good. Yeah, it also has fluids, and you could you could type you could put stuff in there, but I think then we're gonna go with the mechanism one. I think it's probably just better. So yep, we're gonna upgrade this one as well, and that's two of them. We're gonna hold on to those. I think that the um. I'm wondering if the first one that I should um, use should be to set up ore processing rather than the end or nether stuff. Because a lot of the issues that I have right now are stemming from the fact that we don't have coal, so our dark steel stuff gets limited, and I don't have bitumen, which limits the dark steel as well. And then if I can get like obsidian coming in, or um... actually, I can, I can get infinite on obsidian pretty soon, actually. Because um, when I can get infinite power, I can run a lava generator for free. But um, your yeah, subsidy won't be a problem. But yeah, I want to get diamonds, coal, and iron going. Yeah, right now I might be. Yeah, I'm low on iron. It kind of gets used up really quick, really quickly, especially if I'm using the um, the grains of peasiality. They go away really fast. So yeah, maybe I didn't need these right now. I just set the rainbow generator, but. <laughs> Whatever, we did it. So do I have interfaces on me? I do. So I need my PP tunnels. And a memory card. So let's set up a new memory card. I want to have one. Let's use this one. Because I'm going to need a probably a good amount of channels to do. Actually, I really won't. I'm only going to need a couple. Because I'm going to use up a few interfaces. But nothing too ridiculous. Yeah, let's break all of these down. Yeah, I just want to be able to get down and under here to for the maintenance of all these. Okay, actually, I want redstone conduits as well. I don't think I have those on me. Oh, I do actually. Nice. And I just need a lever. We can go get one of those right now. Nice. All right. So I can set up the redstone control pretty easily for all these. Oh, I got a... Oh, I gotta attach them manually. That's a bit annoying. I think I remember how to do this. I need the um, crescent hammer. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's how you do it. But, man. Yeah, I gotta get like up and in there to do that. Yeah, I literally gotta break and replace all of them. <laughs> this is awesome. But um, I'll do that when I when I get to it, I guess. I'll do it for the rest of them some other time because this is going to take a hot second just to set all that up. Yeah, that's the general idea. And I just want to make sure that these aren't these are all on redstone on mode. Because then if the redstone is on, they turn on. And then we'll temporarily put the lever like just over here. Yeah, this lever is on, these will turn on. Lever's off, so they should be off. 
I'll find out. So yeah, interfaces are going to go down here. Probably one for each row. Because some of these require um, multiple items. Because I know like the slime generator needs two. I think it would just be best practice to only do one interface per row. Do a little something like that. And then it's going to run a cable over. So that'll get the P2P from the one I just grabbed. And we're actually right next to this setup, so we can just run a cable over from the ground over here. Let me just find out. Yeah, this is where the ME is. And this was back when I wanted to use colored cables. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get back to that or not, but it might be worthwhile when I start getting more complicated setups to color code the cables. Okay, I think this is the direction. I think this is about where I want to go. This will be a useful line for when um, I want to put ME cables over here as well. So this, this makes perfect sense. Bring it downtown like this. And then over to where it needs to be. Nice. Um, I hope this has channels. I didn't actually check if it had enough channels, but I think it should. This comes from over here. It has two. And that branches off from this, which is like barely used. So yeah, this is fine. This thing should have like five, six channels. Okay, yeah, we're good. We are very good. Just got my ass zapped flying over there. Yeah, I should clean this out probably, but it's not that important. Okay, so this is eating up four. Yep, perfect. So, I think what I want to do is buffer... Actually, let me check this real quick. Actually, this one doesn't show recipes for some reason. So I think that um, dark oak wood... How many items does this smell? 1.5. How many does plank smell? 1.5. Okay, so yeah, it's more efficient to turn this into planks. So how can we, what's the most efficient way to do that? The crafting is obviously easy, but it's probably better ways to do it. It's a weird recipe. Sawmill. Okay, so this gives us sawdust. We'll bookmark that and we'll see if there's a better option or not. Pulverized to eight sawdust sawmill. Uh, I think that the other sawmill is probably better for now because we it's hard to get the upgrade kits for me right now still. So I think the mechanism sawmill will be the better option for now. So we can make one of those. So we can make one of these boys. Oh, two diamond sawdust. That's fine. Is there a factory for this? There is. I wonder if it'd be worthwhile. Well, we can see how fast it goes. So we should have everything. Oh no, we need a steel casing. Just make like 10 of those while we're at it. Um, so this is easy. I should have told just one because I think it does them in order. It like has its own mysterious order to do all the um, crafting recipes in. There we go. Okay, precision sawmill done. And then we can get a, um, that's not what I wanted to do. We can get a drawer. And put like a big upgrade on this just so we can hold a lot of planks at once. Yeah, this will probably just go over here in the next layer of the setup. So I'll go right here. Output, auto, auto eject on, input from the left. And we have to run another interface in here. Am I out of interfaces? It's like I am. Let's grab a couple more. No CPUs available, why? See, every now and then an iron rod gets lost. It doesn't happen a lot, but 
it's rare enough and it messes with the system. I need to improve it. Maybe like get a vacuum emergency vacuum hopper to save it, or you just like get infinite resources, just craft them manually without the stupid rod bender. But that just feels wrong. Anyways, let's make an interface. Nope. I'm just gonna do one so that it comes out quickly. And then um, we can do more of them later. Yeah, it's very much integral to what I want to do right now. Um, I need dark oak wood. We'll grab that as well. It's done. One thing that's always like a bit, I guess, like paralyzing to me um, when approaching like large, large mod packs is the fact that if I do something wrong right now, um, it could potentially screw me over for later because of the fact that um, if the system is like inefficient, it'll be extremely slow when it matters, which is later, and I'll be waiting forever on recipes. But I suppose like as I'm learning and going farther, like I've never gotten like extremely far before. Like, the farthest I got in a pack ever is probably like insane voltage Greg Tech New Horizons, but like. Basically what I'm getting at is I'm going to be learning a lot about efficiency and... Okay, you know what I could have done? I could have I could put an upgrade in this guy. Like, I don't even need two interfaces here. I can get away with one, and I can make this pattern expansion card. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this thing is free. That's wasting channels now. Do I want to do that? Kind of not a bad idea. I think for now, um, I'll just do this though, just so it could be done with. And then, um, this doesn't even need to be limited, this needs to just be an item filter. It doesn't want to connect this at all. Oh, is the output, is the input isn't on right. I think it's this one? No. These can, this, this GUI confuses me. There, yeah, this is back. The bottom left is back for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I do not know why it was like that. I'm pretty sure that bottom left is um I might just be stupid. I don't know. Insert. That's a pretty terrible noise, I'm not gonna lie. Are we extracting? We're not inserting. Oh, I need a second one for um, sawdust. Yeah, we can just do a little thing like this. And then up is output as well. And then this will only be sawdust because it should be... If I just set it up that way, it should only pull that. Yep, okay. Actually, it didn't actually, it didn't pull the sawdust yet. Is there where like, tell to do, um, other output? Oh, it's not inserting, that's why. Yep, there it goes. Alright, why are you not inserting? I just think I just had to break it and um, replace it. I don't know why, but it was not behaving. But yeah, at some point off camera, I'll upgrade this interface with the um, a whole bunch of pattern expansion cards, and they can keep expanding this little setup. I think that would help a lot. All right. I mean, I guess there is a benefit to doing this because. Um, And rather than making like item ducts, I guess I could just make item duct speed upgrades, but I don't know how it, if it's better to have less items in one interface for the item duct to pull out of, or if we could just upgrade the speed of it and if that would cover it, I don't know. Because what I'm imagining is if every single machine wants to run simultaneously on a big craft, is it better to have these separate or just in one interface? Because one interface saves channels, but channels aren't really what's rare at this point. 
It might be soon, but I could easily expand the system. And then before we leave here, we need to put these in. I don't have any muffling upgrades. Oh, I do actually. Let me put these on last. Actually, we do them next. There's only four of them, so we have to wait this time. Efficient use of my time. It's a big thing in these things all the time. It's good to be efficient, but it's also good to have fun. <laughs> yeah, you shut up, machine. For me, this is enjoyable, though. Okay, cool. We're getting sawdust and this thing. Um, let's ex super expand these drawers. So I get one of these. And then... What kind of uses do you have? Vital goo? I don't really know how useful that is. Ok chow. What? I guess that, like, catches fish or something? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. Compressed sawdust. Charcoal. Uh, we don't need that. Lorbs. Borer essence. What? I don't even know what that is. Makes carbonite. I can foresee this being useful. Actually, there are like no recipes for common for carbonite. Okay, maybe it's useless. Um, cargo boxes. These things are nice, by the way. But they do take a dolly. Yeah, that's no point. Um, this goes to hydrogen. Useless. Charcoal. Okay, yeah, this is really not that good of a thing. Um, I'll put a void upgrade on it. Here they are. I'm running low on upgrades. And then the wood, it will be the buffer. Okay, Nido. So we're making um, planks now. And if I need more, we can make it a factory. So we'll grab these. And then I'm definitely going to need... I might need some extract speed upgrades. Now, these things are annoying in that they take the speed upgrade, so I think like 100 pistons. And then these guys take like a whole like mishmash of upgrades. Should I, I should think I made a whole bunch of upgrade bases. No, I, not enough, apparently. But what are these? Um, alloy and the resonator. We have none of that. This is the problem again where I just run out of iron. We'll throw 16 in for now. Okay. Let's take us a couple um a couple of these. Probably fine for now. And then we can run back down over here. I'm not used to this area of the base existing yet. Um, okay, so this one is going to be a little something like this. And this one's going to go like this. And then we go like this. And then again like this. Might have made more sense like four corners, but this is more efficient on cabling. Okay, you're gonna go up to there. And then we need more filters. Keep that stocked. Okay, so we insert the planks. Planks only go in. Planks go in. There's no point in shutting off extract, but I just kind of like to. I feel like it's better to be neat about it. Let's see, those all are taking planks now. At least they should be. They are not because this thing is not on. See, those are taking planks. And they shouldn't be running yet. Okay, why are we not getting uh, wooden planks? Oh, there we go. And this one is like certainly going to need um, extract upgrades, so we'll put them on right now. And then I turn the lever on, they should turn on. 
Yep, you see them running. These ones for some reason are not. Is this working? I feel like it should be a different color than that. You know what? Okay, yeah, it should work, but it isn't. I'm wondering what the problem is. I bet it's just the fact that the lever wasn't properly connected to this. For some for some odd reason. I don't know, but yeah, that's proof of concept. Okay, these things are done. And then hopefully this goes it can keep up. Yeah, it can. We see right there, it keeps up perfectly. Alright, perfect. So this one needs ender pearls or ender eyes. We'll do ender eyes. Both of which are passive and um, are basically infinite in our mob farm in the end. Pretty soon we'll be transporting them over, but for now we can just buffer this for a little bit. That is what I think the best course of action is. <clears throat> so run that over. And her eyes in. Nice, perfect. So the first row's done. Um, I might get rid of this interface. And we can maybe do we can get away with like two of them. So next up on the list is Limey Generator. So I have slime balls pretty much automated. Um, we can go and take a look at what I got. So I have congealed slime block automated. Let me just throw a bunch of stuff in my tool bag real quick. It's kind of bugging me. Uh, that'll do. Okay, so yeah, I have these things automated. And press U on them, crafting slime ball. Is it better to do something else with them? No. What is this thing? So I gotta I gotta decraft these basically. And then didn't I make an RF tools crafter at some point? I feel like I did, and I like experimented with it. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I remember the problem these with the machine frames, but really these things are not difficult to make anymore. It's really just end steel, but that's close to being infinite, so that's fine. So yeah, we can just like upgrade this one of these to tier three. Oh, I need dark by metal gears. We can make two of those right now. As soon as this is um, rank three, these could store eight recipes each. So you can be pretty efficient with um, how you do things with them. <clears throat> so I think it'll be very helpful. What are we waiting on? Oh, it's like making these. It needs to do that first, I think. See, this is what I was talking about earlier with the um, the whole efficiency idea. A lot of these could be factories. If this was a factory like times seven or times nine, I think they can get up to. That'd be pretty crazy. And we just gotta wait on the die, I think. So while we're doing that, we can think about exactly how we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna need a new interface, I think. Maybe I don't. Maybe I, just keep, I can keep using this one and expand it out. I don't know if they need energy or not. They do need energy. Yeah, we can do that though. So let's get one of these. Okay, that's a problem. The fact that the fact that that thing has to be there is a problem. 
Um, it's interesting though that we had like accidentally gotten around it by having to need this item pipe here. Yeah, we can put it right here then. And then we can item pipe things up like this. And then actually we should do it like this better. All right, I'm back and now slime balls automated. So we have an RF tools crafter tier one. I just like these, um, I think these are way better than the assemblicators because the assemblicators would often forget recipes and I didn't really like them. And the only problem with these is that they don't have a direct output that I could see. So I had to do a little bit of an item conduit work around, but I might do it in this area just entirely for these little auto crafting setups. But yeah, we're taking the congealed slime block that I'm now farming from the slime trees and we're just turning it into slime balls and it's basically, it is free. So we can set the slime generator there. Now I think this actually, um, this, yeah, this needs two things. It also needs milk, which is a little bit weird, but I think that we can deal with it. First off, let's get it hooked up. Then we do a little crossover like this. Right, so I need the item filter insert. Slime balls in. And this also has to extract um, empty buckets. So this will fill up. And then I gotta figure out how to, how to milk the cows. If I go over here, we do have this animal rancher. I'm pretty sure this thing can milk cows. So maybe I'll just throw a cow in here and see what happens. Scoop one up in a soul jar real quick. Yeah, I'll just go up here real quick. Almost just killed myself. Yeah, the exact number of cows in there wasn't really important. That is a terrible noise. <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that cow is going to be repeatedly milked. Um, I got to break through into that area to do maintenance. Because yeah, over here, I have to get in here. This is an older setup back here. No, 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 no. Oh, good lord, no. Okay, I gotta breed them a few times now. Alright, so right here. Need a fluid conduit. Something like this. I think we just run a line over here because we have um, a whole bunch of fluid storage coincidentally right next to this. We just make a milk drum. Yeah, this will work out just fine. And then I can just go right over here. I think I have drums. Um, I have a drum left over, I'm pretty sure. My AE system is lagging. Yep, yeah, I do. I also have a fluid, um, yeah, I have a fluid storage bus as well. Okay, perfect. And we have five, we have only five channels used here. So this will fit in just perfectly.
There we go. No, what are you doing? You're really gonna do that to me. This seems to be one way only. So these are set up to extract only. Because yeah, otherwise this is gonna happen. So I gotta run back and put this away. If I just do this. Actually, it's more difficult than it seems to do. Well, it's good that I noticed that at least because if I didn't down the line, it may have um, filled up somehow and been frustrating to fix. These should all be on extract only, right? Yeah, that, that one has a unique setup because of the way that it has to be stored in the system. Okay. Now we should insert milk. And only milk. There we go. Okay, we got milk. Okay, so the only thing now is to actually get it in buckets. Actually, you know, it probably would have been better to do something slightly different. Because we need to get it in buckets. But we need these, um... Yeah, these things. I'm pretty sure it's automatable with these. As soon as it decides to craft itself. I might need to, I did a crafting task for like 100 plates. Oh, it's doing rods, okay. Yeah, I would like maybe if a plate got lost, it would get stuck. But yeah, it's just waiting on rods. But yeah, it should be able to make a bunch of buckets. <clears throat> so basically, <laughs> the noise of that cow being milk is ridiculous. Basically, my idea is supply a bucket, take a bucket. Oh, we had a bunch of uh, conduits I wrote. We then came back here. I can't focus. I can't fucking do this. Um, get me away from this. What else is milk used for? Like mirrors. <clears throat> Whatever we can, we can get milk going. It's gonna take a little setup, but once it's done, we should be able to have milk at all times in the AE system. At least like a couple buckets, I think. So if I put a bucket like that. And then this thing actually does, if it does have milk in it, it should just fill it. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, what that means is that as long as I keep buckets coming, I can put a storage bus on this. I need to put these on auto craft really badly. But again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these... um. The atomic alloy that's preventing me from doing it, basically. Yeah, my lack of atomic alloy is a 
is a problem. But it should be solved pretty soon, actually. <clears throat> See, if I get one of these. And then I also need a... I think I just need an export bus. Okay, we have a few. So we can do an export bus on a bucket. I think I actually have the perfect amount of channels to do this and then finish this part of the base, essentially, which is all like the animals. So export bus and a storage bus. So I export buckets. And then I do like, I don't know, extract only on this. We can do... We can do it so that it'll put buckets in. But only if it really, um, only if it needs it. So, I should be able to get... Actually, is that even going to put buckets in? No, it doesn't look like it is. <clears throat> so I got to do it to a chest. And then pull it out of the chest and put it in there. Beautiful. Actually, no, that's terrible. And this chest is going to be filled with buckets. That's not what I want. Isn't there like a... Yeah, what are these? Okay, yeah, that'll do. Don't ask me why I know that. Um, okay, you should put it in now. Device offline. Um, it's not hooked up. Do you like the mini chest? No. <clears throat> I don't want to use an interface for this. Don't make me use an interface. You might need an interface. Fine. You got me. Okay, put it in. This is the most ridiculous automation I think I've ever done. That's offline though, I need to get the channels going. <clears throat> so that should hook both of them up actually. I can save a cable. Actually, no I can't, that ruins it. I can't save a cable. Yeah, there's no way to save that. So yeah, this should supply buckets now, as soon as it turns on. Uh, I actually might actually not have buckets in the system. Okay, it looks like it did though. And I have one milk. Cool. Yeah, that works. We did it. And then we can go down here. Set the input to milk. And this has to extract as well, which means this needs to be able to insert. Because if we want to get the we, we get the buckets back. So yeah, that should work. Make this provide milk, and it will. Nice. Let's turn it on just to make sure it works. And I'll put the redstone on. Oh, it's extracting slime balls. I gotta put a filter on it. Only extract empty buckets. Okay, yeah, that should work now. Cool. That was interesting. 
Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then we can get to automating more of these. So next up is the pink generator. And I have a good idea how I'm going to do that. So I'll be back when we are ready for the pink generation, pink generator automation. All right, I'm back after quite some time. I have done a few things around the base that are interesting, and I have some stuff to throw in, I guess. Um, I added a new ME controller here on this other side of the base, and with that, a new layer of P2Ps. Um, some of them are getting pretty filled up, so I just decided to expand it because, mostly because of this cable right here. This guy had like 20 some channels on it, and it was getting a little bit too close to full, so I just moved it um, in preparation for that becoming an issue later. Um, I'm going to be rewiring a lot of the base pretty soon because it's kind of expanding in that direction now, which is interesting. So, yeah, I just hooked all this back up. And now that this is a separate controller, you want to use the P2P. To hook up this P2P, you need to use the P2Ps that are hooked up to that controller, otherwise they won't link, right? So, yeah, I got that done. What did I want to do? Oh, yeah, I want to, uh, I want to craft some of these. I added a few recipes to the terminal, including these uh, pattern interface cards. Oh. Let's make like six of them. Why am I missing Certus Quartz Dust? Isn't that on pass? No, it's not. Okay, we got to make Certus Quartz Dust. I thought that was a recipe that I had programmed in, but I guess I never got around to it. Okay, so this goes in the crusher. Yeah, see, it's not there. Okay. Um, yeah, let's make 10 of these. I don't know why this needs... Um, I guess that's making quartz glass, I think. Yeah, okay, that's what it needs quartz glass for. Yeah, I, I'm I'm getting... Um, I'm more of a fan of these pattern expansion cards and now. I'm just kind of... Um, instead of making more interface to take more channels. These things are like ludicrously fast for these speed upgrades, so at least for the time being, we can upgrade some of these with at least simple recipes. There comes a time we gotta upgrade it ridiculously. We can do that. So yeah, get some of these. And then I just want to spread them evenly as well, just so that we aren't overloading any one interface. Okay, so yeah, we can add some more recipes in now. So I want to throw in recipes to build enrichment chambers because they are annoying to make. Then I can request an enrichment chamber, make Fluix blocks in there. Yeah, slowly but surely we add all the recipes into here. How much Fluix do we have left? Um, a little bit, not really that much. These blocks can go over here because this is more machine and these are more just miscellaneous crafts doesn't really need to be making sense but it helps me a little bit um, how are we looking well oh, we're we looking at nether quartz mediocre pretty soon i'll have a nether miner going but before we do that we need to do some other things around the base like first off ore processing so the reason i have the enrichment chain request is that i want to do I do have a lot of these. I want to do a fully automated ore processing system, ore processing system that'll just kind of like deal with anything that I get out of the miner and just instantly instantly deal with it and put it in its respective place. And my storage method, I think, is just going to be giant um, storage drawers. Put like the emerald upgrades on all of them. I think there's a, there might actually be an upgrade above that. Okay, yeah, it's the it's not happening though. White matter. Okay, yeah, there is an upgrade above, but it's not, it doesn't matter. So, hopefully that'll be enough of each material, but if it's not, I could just dump them into the AE system as like an access chest. I don't really know how that will, how that would work yet, but that's always an option. So the enrichment chamber got me pretty quickly, but I'm not happy with just an enrichment chamber. I want to make it at least a factory. Okay, this enriched gum is also, I wouldn't call it difficult to make, it's just annoying to make. I also want to get the um, mechanism alloys going because 
take a look at what I'm doing over here. You're going to be blown away. Um, let me just throw these in. Oh, I already had a bunch made. So we'll enrich that. I've been running my miner a little bit. And look at this. Yep, diamond issue is a little bit solved. I wouldn't say it's permanently done with, but definitely pretty good. 17, that'll do. What is this all used for? Basically just the factories, right? Yeah. And then enrich infused wood. Okay, so we'll need uh, more of it eventually, but for now it's really not that bad. And then upgrade this farther, we need basic enriching factory. Okay, yeah, we need this kind of stuff. I'm running a little bit low in elevadium, so maybe we won't super duper max it out yet. But yeah, I'll at least go to tier two with all these. So yeah, basic enriching factory. And then I'm going to want an energized smelter factory. I should be able to just make these. And then the factory needs two of those and red alloy. Should have red alloy. Okay, I do. So yeah, hopefully this will be okay. And then my, my other plan is to just get interfaces that um, will supply the specific ore that I want to the place that I want it to be at. So I need to make more interfaces as well, I think. I need to hook up um, this system over here to the A. It might be a little bit more difficult than it seems right now. I just have to redesign it a tiny bit. But after I do that, it should be pretty simple. It needs to be stocked up with a redstone. How are we doing with silicon in here? Print the silicon is good. Okay, so yeah, that'll go. I had to make all, I made a stack of diamond processors earlier. Pretty good stuff. Let's see, I'll let that go. Let's put these um, in here. I'm pretty sure this maxes them out because they can get four rows of items. Kind of hype about that. I can't actually max out my four, but that's fine. That that will this will last us for a good while. When oh, the one in the middle needs them too, yeah. This will this will be good for quite a bit. Um, I still need I need to get around to maxing to upgrading these ones and removing the interfaces that are in excess. But I'll do that some other time. Also, in um, the Rainbow Smelter journey, we're gonna need a ton of Osgo glass. And to do this, I'm going to need refined obsidian going. Um, glowstone ingots are good, osmium is good, refined obsidian is not good. And the main reason of that is that we were lacking diamonds, but the fact that we aren't lacking diamonds now, it's kind of giving me the go-ahead to passive refined obsidian. The only issue still is that um, obsidian itself isn't quite infinite for us right yet, but it will be very soon. Once I'm uh, once I don't have to deal with power anymore, I can get a whole bunch of bunch of igneous extruders and lava gems going. So that'll be pretty exciting. And with that, we can make obsidian and basalt, both of which are extremely important to us for building this ridiculous space. And this is a new area as well. That was there before, but I closed it all in. Um, pretty much the whole entire back wall. This is dug out, so I can run cabling and all kind of stuff in the background. Or even I was thinking of making more rooms down here, like more cutaway rooms and then put stuff in the middle here. I don't know, like maybe maybe it's like a big fountain or something, something decorative instead of uh, useful. And then just keep these little windows. The only thing that I'm worried about is that if I get too close to these things over here, the nether star gen and the death gen will kill me. But um, I'll do some testing. The death generator I know is a three by three. So one, two, three, I'm in the wall. So I'm never going to be in the range of that. But this thing I think is a little bit bigger. So they might have to go... They might have to go somewhere more safe, but otherwise, it's looking pretty good. I think I could probably I could bust these walls out here and make other rooms like that. But yeah, I think in this room over here is where I'm going to throw the ore processing for now, 
And if we have to expand it to be more elaborate, we could, but I don't really expect us having to do so. So I do know that um, iron, what's the raise came? Actually, I can go check right here. Some of these ores, we already have the automatic processing set up for, but I do want to upgrade the system as well. Once I have like infinite power, because these chambers can get, um, let me find the purification chamber. These can be factories as well. And it's pretty simple to upgrade them. The main annoying thing is this right now, which I can automate that, I guess, if I wanted to. I don't know if it's, I don't have any to pass of it or what, but yeah, these could all become the next level as well. The only issue right now is that we don't have the power to run this system, but yeah, iron can go in here. I think I can check in here, right? Yeah, iron, gold, osmium, copper, tin, silver. Um, I didn't know that. They can make salt with this. What is salt used for? Yeah, lead and that's it. What is salt used for? Industrial slime ball. That's interesting. That might be useful. I don't even actually, I don't know if we need these ever. No, we don't. Okay, that's useless. <laughs> Cloud seed. I don't know what this does. Oh, it seeds clouds. Literally, it's going to make um, rain. Growth fusion liquid. What? Yo. We're going down a rabbit hole right here. Oh my god. Okay, get me away from that. Um, that just took my brain on a trip. Yeah, back to the task at hand, which is automating um, or processing. So we can go make our energized smelters now. That is certainly done by now. Then I want the basic smelting factory. Easy. I should have enough upgrades for these guys. These Johns. Do I not? Energy upgrades. I might have used all my speed upgrades. Yeah, it looks like I did. So we can make some more of those right now before we move forward these are the ones that i want right no extract speed these are the ones i want okay cool we'll last stack of them real quick what else do i think i need a power cell do i have one left over no i don't yeah the power cells are a fine solution to actually i should add these to the a they're like a pretty cheap solution to transporting power it's pretty easy to do it actually with these with these things. I didn't make the red one. And they're actually not that expensive at this point for us. So I can request these. Yeah, the fact that we have the could have sworn. What? Oh, they're like NBT, aren't they? They're like weird. Yeah, okay, let's request one of them and then request one of these. Okay, request a red. Oh, I don't have redstone alloy. Let me make this. Silicon and red alloy. I should have that, don't I? Yeah, one by 64. What's wrong with this? Is there a P2P that I missed or something? Or did I break something? Because this should be hooked up. This is on. Um, yeah, why is it not appearing in the system? Oh, why are we being, why are we being weird? Actually, where is the, hold on a minute. Where is the thing from Bobber, the drawer controller? Aha. The drawer controller does not seem to be attached. Um, there they are. Okay, does that fix our woes here? Tell me that was the problem, please, and it's not something more ridiculous that I haven't foreseen. It's not hooked up. That's the problem. It might take a second to update, but that's still a problem that it doesn't see it yet. OK, 
device online. It should see these. I don't know why it doesn't. Does it see my dark oak planks? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I can see this stuff though, can't I? I'm pretty sure I could. Yeah, I can. If you type steel, you see all that stuff. Okay, what's the issue here then? I mean, I use that one there. Yeah, what would the issue be? It should be in the radius. Oh, you know what? Is it not connected? Um, do I see coarse fruit? I do. Okay, okay. Also, popped coarse filled a barrel somewhere. I don't know where it did. <laughs> that is not good. Yeah, it needs to be connected more. See, it's only connected on the one end. So I think I can I think I know how to fix this already. I just put a trim there. Um, this should lead over to these underground. I'm almost positive. Yeah, it does. Okay, now it should see them. Yeah, there are 130,000 dark oak saplings. Uh, are not saplings planks? Yeah, I kind of went a little overboard on that. that. I think I just threw whatever upgrade I had available, and it made a lot. See, so why do I have 4,000 of these? Where could that be filling up a drawer? Yeah, that does not make sense. Like, that's that's 2,000. Where could that possibly be filling a drawer that it shouldn't be? Actually, I do have a little bit of an idea. I might have accidentally placed extra drawers when I was doing, like, drawer trim. That's the only thing I can think of, because... I don't know about you guys, but I don't see these things anywhere. <laughs> they do not exist. Like, those drawers aren't real. So I guess they're just going to sit there. I mean, they're accessible from the ace system anyways, so... Not like it's a big deal. But, I mean, they're out there. Actually, you know what it might be? I did place... I think I did place some drawers down as cabling that aren't cables. Because I had some drawers that are made out of only basalt. Because I thought, I think that might be it. Yeah, because I don't think that they, I don't think I have them anymore. Okay, yeah, that's what happened there. So there's some, there's some drawers out there that are made out of basalt that I used as drawer cable, essentially. And that was a bad idea because stuff just gets sent into them. Like it just, like I said, it just gets sent into them. So I don't have control over that and they just kind of filled up. But um, I mean, it's not that bad. I've definitely done stupider things. I don't remember what I was doing. What was I doing? I needed the um, redstone. I want to make a power cell. That's what I wanted to make. Yeah, can I make one of these? No. Can I make one of these? Yes. Okay. Do you see that? No, you don't. Okay, I got to fix this thing's recipe. Bring that back. Delete. Put it in here. I can just do this, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Okay, so the blue one. Yeah, but I delete that and I put this there instead. Now it should match whatever the MBT is for that. And then I put it back. Okay. No, what happened? Put it back. Okay, now I can make a power cell. Yes. Okay, there. Sometimes things are a little bit finicky. Okay, cool. Um, I need a power cell card as well. I should, I mean, I should program these, but it's not either difficult in any way. Might as well just do it though. Be a good noodle and program things. Put that there. Okay, cool. Um, another issue, or like an issue forthcoming is that as I get more power cells, yes, yeah, see, we can already see it. Like it's going to be getting drained at some point. So like this thing only does 20,000 RF per tick out. So if I start overloading any one power cell, it's going to be a bit of a problem. 
So I'm, or I'm already thinking of retiring the power cell of ID2 and maybe making a link ID3. So I guess we could start that up right now then. I forget how to start. Yeah, there we go, link ID5. So I gotta make another set of them, but that's not like, that shouldn't be difficult. Uh, I think I made enough mithril ingots in advance to fuse quartz. Why don't you know how to make fuse quartz? I guess I don't have um, I don't have a smelter or a uh, I forget what's it called. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have one of those special smelters in my A2 yet. Another misclick. Give me that back. Yeah, it's got it's got to go on me. Actually, I do have an alloy smelter. I could make this. But yeah, it's got to go on this specifically. And I'm just going to get three. I could just run it back because I only needed three. That was fast. And just give me a card. It'll be instant. Nice. See, so yeah, I want to hook this up over here. So we can start doing power stuff, and then this has to be synced over here. Put this in there, syncs to the link ID, and then I put it over here and we got power. Boom. So I'll size the output. And then we start doing we start popping off over here. Actually, I need to get a no, I don't need to get an ME cable. We have it right there. So actually we're gonna start on this side of the room, I think. And I'll put it like this. And I'll put the machines like this, I think. Actually, I might want to bust it out one, just to have access to the, an additional face of the machines. And we're just run the power on the back then. Yeah, let's move this forward one. Okay, so yeah, the enriching factory. Um, I want an interface. I think I, I used up all my interfaces to make the upgrade cards. So let's get some interfaces. Make me 10. Oh yeah, I need the logic processors. I set that up earlier. I need a jetpack. Give me interfaces. What's the problem now? Oh no. Disaster strikes. Um, I need to get this automated too. For now, though, um, we can do one more final batch the not easy way. This will be the last time, most likely. And then from here on out, the thing will be going in an RF crafter, it looks like. Because I learned how to use the RF tools crafter with the slime balls. And I've actually been thinking about it a lot more and ways to like improve that and make it more efficient. Um, it's really good for like complex crafting recipes. So I think that the formula like assembly cares might be better for just one off recipes. Um, I gotta get my conductor rod. Here it is. Oh wait, what was the problem there? Oh, I ran out of RF. I ran out of GP powder. Shit. Well, we have the backup. So let's make, um, I do two stacks of this. Glowstone, redstone. Yeah, this is nice. This is fine. Always keep the backup one, especially when you get into applied energistics crafting where it doesn't warn you that you're going to use it the last one. Um, with this RF power done, though, we can craft up the interfaces. What else is the problem? Flux dust. Why do you know how to make flux dust? I guess because it doesn't know how to make flux crystals yet. Um, let's do like a whole bunch of these. I don't really know what the best way to automate these are. I guess it's to like, oh shit, a lot of um, dark space. Yeah, this is what it looks like on the top side. Um, it's kind of like defeating, it's destroying the, the nature part of this area, but I can rebuild it and rebuild it better at that. I was thinking of making my own like garden kind of area. I probably need it for something at some point. But yeah, well, as I was saying, I think it'd be best to like 
if it's requesting Fluix, dump these into a dispenser or something and then throw it into water and then have like, I wonder if I can put like a filter on a vacuum hopper or something. I really don't know. But yeah, those are my ideas, I guess. I'll pop, I can just look it up and see what the best way is, the easiest way is. Why would you recommend that recipe though? You're kind of trolling me. Put that in the crusher. Now we can make the interfaces. Right? Please? No. We need more GP power. Oh, that's good because this should be done by now. It's always fun uh, duplicating items like this in these kind of like special funny recipes. I shouldn't have hopefully enough glowstone. Just seeing it double each time is satisfying to do. And then we're done. Put this back in the emergency chest. And then we can finally request these. One by one, I will automate things that will make this so we never have to do it again. That'd be pretty crazy. While we wait for those, let's take a look at what we need to do for this. So this is done. Next up is this. Someone had mentioned in the comments that um, in some packs, dirt is acceptable for this. I don't know if it is in this. Let's check real quick. That's a weird block to want to put in there. I don't think I saw it in here the first time. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. Yeah, some packs have like dyed dirt or whatever. So they can get thrown in this thing. Like, yeah, you could dye the elevator pink and it'll, it'll take it. So yeah, it's definitely pink um, stained glass. And then the best way to accomplish that, I think, is with actually the RF Tools Crafter, like I was talking about, how it can make more complex recipes. So I think I should have a pretty upgraded one somewhere. Might be in my bag. Yeah, here's a tier three one. Um, it's two layers of crafting, kind of three. This thing can do eight layers, so I don't really want to waste it, but we might just go for it because, um, yeah, we're just going to go for it right when our interface is done. So stuff that I want, I want to send bones here. I want to send beetroot here. I want glass here. What other things do we need to make this work? I think that's actually it. The beetroot is crafted, right? Yeah, I crafted to make red dye. So yeah, this will actually all just work. It just works. And I think we're going to put start throwing stuff in the walls here just for the hell of it. So I need a P2P. Do I have P2Ps left on me? Yes, I do. And then I actually don't remember which line this is. I think this is the one that comes out forward, which means I need the other memory card. We'll see if it links or not. That's the easy way to tell. I'm also going to need some cabling, some of the small cables. So I'll put this out like this, make this run like this. Well, if actually, if I do this like this, I'm going to need cable anchors. It's a little bit annoying. Let's do it like this. Loaded. Um, Linked, but it says a missing channel. I think it's just because it just got um, put on. It shouldn't be missing a channel. Actually, maybe it is. Hopefully, I don't have a 8x cable on this at some point. 14 out of 36. No, I definitely should have a channel. Oh, yeah, there. It was just lagging. Okay. So I want to interface here. And this goes to my crafter. And then I want a power cell as well. I'll just go steal the one from the setup over here. 
can do this later. It'd probably be more efficient space, spatially to place this in the center. Then I could utilize both ends of it. Something like this. And then it goes like this. You get power. Just make sure it's set to output. And then... I'm going to need item conduits. This thing will not pump by itself. And the good thing about this wall is that we can do stuff in the back here because we have this staircase here. It might be, um, in the future, I might add more like decorations on these walls on this, this side over here just so they, um, we can mask everything better. And I'm actually going to need a limited item filter as well. So give me one of those. Put that on the input. And then we'll do... I want to do a stack of them. I don't have a stack of my inventory, so we'll... You got to get these back. Otherwise, I got to click it one by one. And that would be a little bit annoying. I think that we can do a stack of each of these. I'm going to start programming recipes. This makes bone meal. And this goes internally. Now, the only thing that I don't know about... What are the current items? The one thing I don't know about is if I can make this stop. So, like, I say I don't want it to overload on one or the other. Like, I always want it to have a certain amount of red dye in here. But we'll see if it can do that. This other one goes to red dye. So I'll apply that. Oh no, let's go internal. So internally, I'll make these two together. And then we make pink out of them. That should also be internal. And then with the glass, we make glass panes. And then with the panes, we make... Hold on a second. Get out of here. You gotta be internal as well. I'm not used to using this thing yet. Then with the panes, we do this and we make pink panes, right? No. What is the problem? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so we gotta dye the glass first. We don't dye the panes, we dye the glass. So you um delete. Give me these back. I'm sure these will be useful at some point. Round two. Um, I don't know why the glass isn't being made. I guess it's just kind of slow. So yeah, pink, apply. Oh, here, here it is. Keep one of each in each inventory slot. Yeah, let's do that. Put these all in keep mode. Yeah, I like that. Okay, they didn't save. I gotta click apply. Okay, yeah, that should work now. Put the glass in. We get pink glass. And then we do this. This can go external and then keep as well. Awesome. So we have pink glass panes now. And I think if I throw a storage bus on there, it will only, um, it'll only do what I want, which is to... I want it to grab all these. I want it to like grab all the items that are inside as well, since it's like a good source of automation for them. Okay, this is what I was worried about. This is just overloading on bones. All right, stop. Stop, stop using bones. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get it going at least a little bit on the other things as well. Otherwise, it won't keep them. Okay, there. Now this should be set up, and I don't think it'll mess itself up in any way. I'm gonna let that fill up for a moment though. In the meantime, I want to get storage buses automating. We're going to be bussing with these. Get that. 
get that. And then let's get this. So I think pistons are... Yeah, we're not making pistons, but sticky pistons. Sticky pistons are free now. Let's do that as well. Yeah, we have infinite slime balls. So those are all now in. So now I can request one of these. Can I request like five of them right now? I can. Uh, it might take a little bit though, because if I request five at once, it'll do, um, it'll want to bend all the plates at once, which means it gets like, it might just like do itself out of order. But let's take a look at this again real quick. Um, is this running as expected? I think it is. Um, I don't think it's ruined itself yet. As you can see, it's keeping at least one of each in the inventory. So, yeah, I think this is good. And then I think I'm just going to throw some of the glass panes in a buffer somewhere. I could probably just export bust them into like a storage area, honestly. Yeah, let's see if this works how I think it does. Or at least how I hope it does more accurately once it turns on and if we look at pink dye there should be like a couple hundred of it no not quite okay that's okay though i was hoping that we can get all the internal stuff inside of the a system as well but it doesn't quite work like that which is it's okay yeah, we just got to export to a drawer then So extract, insert, less panes. Yeah, we just gotta lock it. It's a weird looking drawer. <laughs> like the, the the white does not make the panes pop out, you know, it kind of makes them blend in more. And then I could throw I'm gonna put the storage bus on this guy. This on this drawer. I need more of these um, cable anchors, I think. You bastard. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I kind of kind of liking the vibes since they're putting off on me. Definitely interesting to use. So I'm just clipping into the <laughs> into the drawer by using my hang glider. Okay, so now I should be able to go storage bus on top. This will effectively just hide all the wiring. Yeah, this should not attach at all. Cool. And then this should activate soon. Oh, wait, no, it's not right. Look at that. Um, the P2P is on the bottom. I know how to fix this. Um, we just got to move it down a, a block, which is fine. Of course, I misplaced it. And then we just got to do this. Not that this and then i gotta break a block down to be able to do it oh that's not good <laughs> um let's do a little something like this this is why i need hover mode there's no easy way i need to make another uh, elevator over here i guess to get up from the basement over to here What's the, um, there's a tool I can make that would help me with this situation. It like makes the, um, it makes you be able to put like a memorized, I don't remember what it's called, but like you can memorize conduits with it and you just click on it and then one click sets the conduit. 
I don't know what it's called, but it would have been helpful there. So yeah, now I can hook this up with one cable and a storage bus like that. And now we have pink glass panes in the thingy. If I search pane, there they are. And we can throw these down in the dumps in the machine room. I just need a filter. I don't know, what plates do I need? Iron. How much iron do I have? A thousand, we're good. It's not really good practice to just make one of these and run, but I need one. So we can mark off the pink generator. Um, we need an access hatch. So in here, we put the panes and then just add a couple item conduits. Insert filter, pink glass panes, insert on, and then it's going to go. Redstone on. At the end, I'll hook up all the redstone alloy, I guess. Do I have more of them? I do have more of them. We could just do it right now. I mean, it does make it look a bit sloppier. Yeah, I'll do it at the end. I think it's much better to do it at the end. Because, yeah, otherwise, I, I don't like having, like, the double-triple cables when, um, double-triple ender I.O. cables when I'm just trying to, like, work on stuff. It kind of just confuses me and ruins the visual clarity. All right. So the next easiest one that we can do is definitely the culinary generator. That'll take basically no time to do, I'm pretty sure. Let's do a quick, quick run-through. Apples last 15 seconds. Those are infinite. We can do apples, I think. We get way too many apples from our tree farm. So we should put them to use. Yeah, like, give me some of these. Yeah, that'll be perfect. I'm in the ceiling. Um, give me like 16 of these right now. Awesome. Perfect. Let's see. I'll run down here. Apples in. I am the apple supplier to this machine, dude. This is crazy. Put that in there. Boom. Insert. Done. Redstone on. Okay, another one down. Did not expect it to be that quick, but... Had a bright idea. All right, so potion generator. Um, I think water bottles might just be the might be the play here. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more complicated this seems. And really, to do the water bottles, you just need to do um, what are they? They're just called tanks, literally. We could set up like maybe like four of these, just constantly making water bottles, and that should more than supply the water bottle supply of this guy that was a lot of rhymes yeah we can do that right right quick um these tanks are actually on auto craft so let's make there's no way that three wouldn't be enough right yeah my plates are gonna be backing up yeah, the compressor thing i wonder if it's done with the iron plates already okay it's almost done We'll just let it do its thing. I need to upgrade these machines farther. The thermal expansion machines can get really quick with the um, with the upgrades you can give them. And I would like that to happen pretty soon. What did I request in the A system? I don't remember. What was I doing? Potions? Oh yeah, the tanks. Okay, that means I need to get a whole bunch of glass bottles in the system. Which these are going to be recycled, I'm pretty sure. I can test that real quick. I think these come back through. But if they get used up, we might have to passive craft these. Which isn't a problem, because we have the glass being made in the system. Just throw this in. 
Okay, yeah, you do get the bottle back. So we have to suck the bottles out also extremely quickly. Um, I wouldn't call it a problem, but I just need to make more speed upgrades. Extract speed upgrades. Actually, what are the um, what's the rate on the extract on these things? I wonder if it would tell me over here. Effective speed, four items for operation. How fast is an operation? Tell me per second. How fast is it per second? Okay, whatever. We might, we might just want to make more of them in general. Anyways. Oh, look at this. Um, these things drop healing crystals. They're not really useful, but... Maybe I should have kept them as a pet. It's too late now. Yeah, these are... Kind of lost their luster, but... They're still useful, I guess. I'm not used to there being walls here now. <laughs> I guess I need to make another elevator. Maybe one of these um, little slots can be used for an elevator. Throw our healing stone in here. Hopefully our tanks are done by now. They are. Okay, so I kind of have an idea uh, what to do for this. I wonder if the ME fluid actually should, probably should be fine. I want to make an ME fluid interface. Actually, no, just take crystalline and get fucked up. Hell no, I'm not doing that. Give me an ME fluid export bus. I gotta register these in the system. Oh, amount of blank patterns. <laughs> so many things just constantly barraging me. I need methodology processors. It means I need osmiridium. Good thing that this is a lot. We have a lot of it. Put these in. The proper hopper. Another rhyme. I'm kind of spitting bars right now. Kind of popping off in general. Um, so that should go. We're good on redstone. We're good on silicon. I can put this back in there. I gotta clear my inventory out a little bit. These can go in the builder bag. These can go in the builder bag. Don't need this. Don't really need that. Um, these are all useful to keep on me. That was an issue even with making five of them. Now we can make five of them. What? Could have swore it was one missing earlier. I guess not. I guess I was mistaken. That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, I just need one for now. We can grab the other ones later. Register that, throw it in the assembler. Give me one of them. Actually, do I have this some in my bag? I do. <laughs> I do have them in my bag. Hey, we're chilling. We are professional Minecrafters out here, and no one can say anything different. So, um, I should put it in a little bit of a buffer beforehand. I'm gonna, I need to empty this tank of creosote. And I guess that a way to do it is just to bottle it and throw them out. So we'll get bottles for this. Doesn't work. I guess that another way is to fluid duct it out and then just break them. Do I even own those anymore? I don't know. This is going to look really dumb, but I'm just going to make a tank to... I'll just set and request an extra one. I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. Mm. 
I think I want an extra cable here. Then this will go like this. And then the fluid export bus goes like this. And we put water on this. And I could put acceleration cards in this if necessary. It might not be necessary, but it may be also. Yeah, it's definitely not adding one per second. It needs to add in um, two buckets of water every second. So that's definitely not enough right now. So I'm going to have to put some acceleration cards in there, but that's okay. That's not what I want. I want to do fluid ducts. So fluid conduits, something like this. You got to be quick as well. I wonder how fast they are. 200 MB per operation. Oh, that looks pretty quick. Yeah, I need acceleration cards stat. Do I have any left over? I do. I have quite a few left over. Honestly, let's just jack this thing up. Yeah, go crazy. Um, okay, yeah, then glass bottle's gonna go in here. So that has a limited item filter on it, so this doesn't even need a filter. Or I mean, it needs a filter. It doesn't need a limited item filter. So these go like this. And then they're gonna be glass bottles. And it's gonna pull out water bottles. So give me a water bottle. Okay, yeah, that is slow. It's not instant. Look at that. It takes like a, it has like a second, half second dead time. So it's a good thing I made more than one. Because I had I know I know how slow it is from the milk system. So I kind of knew that I would need this. Um, this big fucking cable's in my way. Get out of my way. Um, so insert. We need filters for both of them. And then for all of them as well. So insert glass bottles, export water bottles. Maybe we can get away with just two of them. We can see if we can get away with two of them. Insert glass, export water bottle. Cool. And then I turn this on, give this water bottles. It's not going to work because I broke the cable. <laughs> um, that should work now, though. And then you're going to take the water bottles and you're going to put them away. Understood? Want to do it now? Do you want to do it now? Are you not extracting? I think I didn't set this to extract. Get me in there. Let me let me in there. I did it, but I pressed E by accident. Oh, I'm not being a gamer. Right? There we go. Extract. Oh, I need to be on insert as well. <laughs> Nobody stop watching. Don't. Oh my God, this is painful. Insert. Now I should do it. Oh, wow, it actually fills up a stack in all these, so yeah. Okay, that doesn't need to be quick at all. It just needs to suck these out. Okay, I'm not convinced that that is going at the rate that I want it to. Also, I don't think it's a good idea to just fill every glass bottle on my system with water. Yeah, cut that off. Cut that off. Bad idea. Um, we're not going to export from the top. We're going to export from the bottom, and then we are going to, yeah, don't extract. And we're going to put them in a barrel. Yeah, give me this. I'll leave, I'll leave an extra space just in case I do decide to <laughs> put a third one. Okay, yeah, that filter should be modified already. It is. And then this needs to not do anything. You see, look how confusing these look. I don't like how these things go. And then you turn off. Okay, cool, yeah, we are getting water bottles. And then I'll throw an upgrade on this, I guess. Just because. 1,000 water bottles. Because, yeah, if we need a buffer of them at any point, it'll be nice to have, I guess. So why am I not making class? I need to go check this um, system downstairs. This shouldn't have any possible way to get stuck, but it might somehow. Okay, it just slows balls. That's why it's stuck. I need a uh, speed upgrade. <laughs> how to how to solve the issue? Just split the stack. Um. Yeah. That'll do for now. I don't really care much about power drain anymore. 
because I made like 20 lava mills. So I can make more upgrades and put them in there, but um, for now we can deal. We can deal. Yeah, that's not connected, so. Any water balls in the system right now are not in that, which means we can move them all over pretty easily. That the ones that were like mistakenly being produced and sent. And then also I want to make a shitload of these, so put them in there. The um the 32 times upgrade is probably actually I'd say it's certainly overkill for this system, but you know what? I don't care. I've decided that I do not care. And then it's probably best to do it on the top. Okay, yeah, how am I going to route that over here? It's got to be like this. It's got to go wrap around the back. I need a cable facade. How do I even make facades? I've never, um, oh, you use cable anchors. Okay, that's not bad. I usually just build for myself instead of for people watching. And I feel like I need to, like, sort of be a bit more cleanly with how I do things. Because usually... I'm just kind of a bit of a mess <laughs> when I play these when I play these things, but I want to clean it up just a little bit for people. Because you know, if it looks appealing, that's it's good. Alright, so we're getting water bottles. Some bottles of water. Um We're out of glass bottles, I think. Actually, no, we're not. Why the fuck? Oh, it's not. There we go. It's hooked back up now. Now we should be getting them. Now we should be getting them. There they are. Another stay below. All right, so we need to make a lot more glass bottles, I think. That's more than enough. Yeah, I want to be over the limit just so that that will fill with a thousand water bottles and then we can not worry about it again. Okay, give me one of these. Also, give me a glass bottle. We got some filtration to do. And I'm probably going to need speed upgrades. I could test it. We could see how it runs. So we're probably making them fast enough, but I cannot know for certain until we test it out. So, ins what the hell? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. They're both like the same. They look the same color of blue to me. Um, I don't know if it's come up, but I'm like mildly colorblind. Uh, red, green, Pronopia. So these two colors look almost identical. You could see I could see it better from up here, I guess, but at a glance they kind of look pretty similar. So I throw these on here. Now we have those set in the system. So I want to insert um I need filters. I put my shit away. That was a mistake. So I want filters going like this. You put water bottles in, and then you take them out. Okay, does that go sufficiently quick to supply this? Why is it not working? It's not on. No, there's no shot that's fast enough. Okay, I need speed upgrades for this. Um, redstone on. Oh yeah, that thing's gotta be like cracked out. Um, yeah, we gotta get some cracked out speed on that. How much time have I been recording for? Damn, almost an hour. <laughs> I think I, I did like another part to this as well, so I'm sorry if this is like absurdly long. I'm so in the zone right now. Um, after I'm finished with this, we'll I'll split up into another episode. But what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I want the speed upgrades. So I want these these ones. Extract speed. Do I have these? Um, I should program these. How many blank patterns did I make? Four. This should be done. It is. Put these in here. Can I request more blank patterns while I'm at it? Give me 10. Okay, cool. So you go in here. I want these first and foremost. See, I gotta get these. Next episode, I'm gonna do the alloys. I swear to God. I gotta do them so badly. All this is automated. 
even the um, the dark dust is actually the dark dust is not automated yet. We can we can do that right now. So this is just pulverizing, yeah, the regular dark ingots. We get the crusher. Crusher's filling up. Um, I want the assemblers, the asses. Um, put this in there, and then we can make extract speed upgrades. Let me throw some of my. I made like an excess of these, so I'll just speed this up by doing this. Let's request twenty. Oh, I need speed upgrades. I have the machine for the upgraded bases in here as well. The resonator, yes, but um. Any more blank patterns? Yeah, it's pretty easy to program this thing. Do this, do this, do this. Bada bing, bada boom, resonator. Do the. There we go. Okay, now we can do it. Give me 20. What a beaut. What a beaut. I'm going to throw these on. So what's important is that I put them on the other one as well. I want this to be sufficiently quick at pulling items out. 20 per operation? I don't think that's quite enough. Try 40. That should be enough. Now the potion generator. The potion seller. Put 8 on you. What does that bring us to? 36. Yeah, it's kind of not quick enough still. Oh, I'm lagging. Go even crazier. 56. Yeah, damn. It's, it's just not pulling it out quick enough. I wonder if maybe it's the fact that I'm trying to do it on the same conduit. So let's, um, let's turn this off. And go back in the top. And see if I need like an alternative conduit to suck these out. And I'll just put, I'll just throw a barrel for now. Okay, this could pretty easily just be an interface or something. Okay, that's better for sure. Let's speed it up. See, they don't stack. That's the issue. Okay, yeah, this is not going to work. Hmm. Well, you know what? The fact that the glass bottles are automated now means that the alchemy automation might be easier. Oh, I'm out of style of crepes. All right, I'm going to have to call it there. Uh, I've been rambling on for quite a while, so that will be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was longer. I got very much in the zone. I'm going to keep going right after this, so see you next time.